Hi, my name is Jacques. Welcome to the channel. Earlier this week, we sent the film director, Jakub Menar, a couple of questions about his new film, Poe, translates as Peacock. And he has very kindly responded um, with a couple of uh, short clips. And uh, hopefully it's enough to get you interested in seeing the film, checking it out and uh, letting us know what you think about it. So here's Jakub. I'm Jakub Menar. I am the co-writer and director of Poe, or Peacock. Poe is the story of a young woman, Anna, who uh, is caught up in uh, this puritanical institution known as the Foundation. And when she oversteps their strict rules, she gets sent away to work as a private nurse for an old man. Uh, Sarl, and he is one of the institution's founders. Now, living out his last days in an old, dilapidated farm house uh, in, a, in a kind of paranoid uh, dementia, Sarl is plagued by ghosts and demons from his past, both literally and figuratively. Now, Anna has some of her own guilt, and uh, the longer she stays with Sarl, the more she gets sucked into his dark world. Um, of paranoia and hallucinations and uh, she starts seeing his ghosts as well. Now she will have to act from her deepest convictions or otherwise she may just get sucked into this maelstrom forever. So what makes this a horror film? Well, Poe is a South African gothic tale. It has a spooky old farmhouse. It has demonic ghost figures. It has a monstrous peacock that has its throat slit and blood spraying all over the place and a few other goodies that I'm not going to mention now. And then above all, it has a ton of scary, dark atmosphere. Apart from the fact that it is a South African Gothic fairy tale, uh, which I think is kind of unique, it is a, it's a mystery. It is a film with um, a surreal, dreamlike atmosphere. It's got sex and death. It's got a drag queen. It's got blistering performances by the two leads, Darren Weingart and Johan Boerta. And it is a dive into the psyche and under the skin of the Afrikaner identity to find out just why we are so damn weird. An interesting story that pulls you in and never quite lets up where it is going. Uh, I think they can expect some really beautiful images and they can expect to be taken into a gloomy dreamy world with quite a few scares. Well it was a long journey with a lot of highlights but I think uh, working with my partner, David Cornwell, to write the film and going on this whole process together was amazing. Uh, we had a wonderful cast and crew that was really a joy to work with. And I think one of the highlights definitely was the first time I saw all the actors in their costumes on set. And it just felt like these characters that had lived inside of us for such a long time was finally coming alive. Come check us out at the Horror Fest SA at the Labia on 21 November at 8.30. Oh, and uh, I said this in the last video as well, but we're a tiny, tiny, tiny channel and uh, we would really appreciate uh, any subscriptions or follows uh, you don't have to set up the notifications bell, just the subscriptions at this point we'll be more than happy with. Any help is greatly appreciated. Thanks. <laughs>